Hello everyone, my name is Mitchell and welcome back to Battle Break. I always wanna say XCOM 2, but uh, yeah, this is not quite the same. Uh, so, we have a lot of guys out, uh, a lot of mechs damaged. But uh, in the end, uh, we still have... Um, or the next contract will be in other system. So I, I'm thinking because this is in the Detroit and this is in the Welchi, Vectri, whatever. I think we are just gonna head on to this mission because the reward is must be there. It is a harder mission for sure, but it will take all 33 days to travel there. So we could uh, actually, oh, maybe we should do level ups. Level ups while we are here. Can't quite grab the tactics. Not sure if the tactics is the, tactics is the one I should go actually. Oh, that's a good question. I could go for the bulwark. Uh, the max one health uh, that uh, doesn't sound too bad uh, either. Basically, that will shorten up the healing times and whatnot. But maybe I want the Bulwark and Juggernaut. Both passive skills. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. The health doesn't do much for me right now, so I might as well wait on wait on this. It's good to go. Medusa is kind of locked in the gunnery and piloting as a primary trees. And uh, yeah, he's not gonna be using indirect fire that much, so might as well save uh, the skill by. point. Waiting for orders. Skill point for the expensive skills on him as well. I'm actually kind of. Uh, she has a lot of uh, time on the wound, so maybe I will just level up one point here. Mm, uh, this is glitch. So glitch is the long range, long range mech, yeah, or uh, I guess uh, now he, she's a uh, dedicated long range gal, <laughs> I suppose. Training confirmed, Commander. Mm, did that cut two days of that, or uh, does it? It's prob it probably doesn't. Commander, I hear ya. Uh, or does that just give the max injury? It could uh, just give me uh, extra injury. Orders. With the uh, no doubt, will uh, become very useful at some point. So Decker is the light mech pilot, so I would love to have the piloting for him. Ready for orders. Behemoth. Uh, well, she's gonna be the melee melee one, so <laughs> we're gonna go for that. Uh, so no much uh, skills I can do. Um, hmm. So what's going on with the spider? Unfieldable. This makes it unfold for combat and cannot be sent on mission. This is my video to restore location that need replacement. Right, we have a, had a rough mission. I lost a bunch of uh, jump jets there, huh? I still need to equip the better uh, BPC we bought. I only have one jump jet. Uh, what's the difference with the letters? Heavy. Can I actually use heavy jump jets on smaller mechs? Probably not. Yeah, it reads there uh, later uh, on uh, the heavy jump jets are specifically designed for using mechs from 60 to, 60 to 85 tons, so. We need a uh, small jump set. We have seven of those, so we definitely can refit, uh, refit the spider. Mm, I guess I cannot uh, just uh, easily repair, the, replace those. I do like the jump sets on uh, on these smaller mechs, especially. And then just uh, having two medium lasers seems to be good enough. So we're just gonna stick to that. 
Do I want to adjust the armor I'm on? It's not really. I mean, I could take some uh, arm and uh, armory, put it on the maybe on the torso, because the arms are not actually holding anything. There's no weapons on the arms, so apparently there cannot be weapons on the arms either. So that's gonna cost me seventy-two thousand and eight days. Uh, make rating six. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. I could also refit the locust, but I'm actually kind of happy with this fit. I guess I could put the jump sets. Uh, one of the things uh, I read on the forums or somewhere about the game is that you can basically put jump sets in every mech, and uh, that's uh, probably that's a little bit uh, cheating, I suppose. I could rebalance the armor, uh, maybe that's not the way how to do it, so... Kinda like to have the max maximum head armor. Even when uh, the head has so, so much armor like uh, in Locust. Locust has a huge head. So I think that's why it has uh, such a huge armor. Uh, machine guns, two machine guns, one ton of ammo, medium laser, it sounds good to me. Logged and noted. Shouldn't be too hard. Center does need repairs, so... How is our storage doing? We still don't have one full mech here. A couple of these are pretty close, but uh, we are already going to have a full squad, so I don't want to waste money on buying mech parts. One thing I was going to check is actually hiring Hala. What kind of guys? Okay, so the MRB rating, which is the mech uh, review board thing, is... Uh, it affects how good... Uh, Pilots, we can uh, we can craft just right away, or, or or they basic level, I suppose. Good to go. Ready for orders. They seem to have a uh, Algana store uh, backstories as well. I'm not sure what these uh, abilities or these Commander. backstory I'm things. Uh, Commander. How much they affect anything, but. Uh, yeah. We haven't actually checked the map map so far. So now we should be able to travel uh, pretty much everywhere. Oh, it's bigger than I thought it would be, huh? These are the inner spare houses basically, and then there's in the middle. I guess this is some kind of unclaimed space. Or this might be actually one of the houses. I'm not sure. Yeah, we are definitely going here, so... Oh, there are all gonna... I believe on this system. Manufacturing. This is industry around turning raw materials into technology and consumer products. Manufacturing was a usually reliable source of mesh parts and components. Also, all these... Uh, will probably affect us. Okay. So we could basically go and uh, go into different systems just to buy things if we wanted to. That's an interesting note. Because I think we can... Uh, oh, we, we cannot. We can travel uh, in here. Challenge. Hmm. That's interesting. So each system has a kind of average uh, challenge as well. But uh, we are going to accept our contract and move there. So travel the well tree to carry out our first major operation against the directorate. We'll brief you more fully when you arrive. And prepare yourself, Commander. After this job, we will be at war. Welcome to Big Leagues, Commander. After we pull the trigger on this one, everything is going to change. For us, probably around our hell for the whole Oregon reach. That's actually a good point. Maybe should I do more? Just normal uh, mercenary work before I go do this. Maybe, but Covering I'm not gonna. Course now, Commander. Oh. 
So much more on my... Okay. I did see one of my mechs come out. Or well, two of them actually came out, okay. So you would use the better PPC. Probably have a little bit too much LRM ammo on this... Uh, judging by the previous mission. So what I'm feeling like is uh, just putting a PPC here. The better PPC. And uh, I don't know. I was thinking about heatsink. Then I was thinking about medium laser. But maybe I'll just do the heat do the heatsink. I don't see that there would be any kind of reading on uh, how the heat efficiency works with uh, these heatsinks we have equipped. I guess I could uh, calculate it. Uh, so this causes uh, 12 heat, this causes uh, 40 heat. Yeah, that's a lot of heat. And this gives me minus 9 heat per turn, so minus 18 heat per turn. So that's basically one LRM, a little bit more. And the basic mech gives me... There are heat sinks in the engine, I don't think I can actually see that from anywhere. I guess this is kind of some kind of indicator. Uh, the relative heat efficiency of mech is determined by total ability to, heat, uh, to sink heat compared to the total heat generated each round. Yeah. Uh, that, is, that is actually true. This is mech is fairly good at brawling. It does a decent melee damage. So maybe I just, uh, instead of having the medium laser, I can do melee if, if it needs me. But equipping the better L PPC and uh, I think I definitely already did the LRM ammo. This one of these has uh, 120 rounds and this uses, uh, because it's LRM, then it uses 10 rounds per shot. So uh, this is like 24 shots. That sounds like a lot to me. So we definitely had too much ammo before and probably even still have too much. We could probably do it uh, with just uh, one, one ammo, but uh, let's see how it goes. Especially on the longer fights, it's nice to have uh, extra ammo. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. How about the Shadowhawk refit? First, I'm trying to remember how it felt. Was there something wrong with it? I don't think so. Yeah, I kinda... It's kinda weird with uh, that one extra medium laser, but uh, I think it's fine. The jump jets are nice. Sadovac doesn't have that many jump jets, uh, so it cannot uh, jump further than it can move, but uh, just enough to uh, kinda maneuver a little bit better with it. Yeah, I think it's fine. Let's not uh, let's not mess with the shadow hawk. It's uh, one thing I could actually do is uh, maybe remove the medium laser and add something like a small laser. I could do two uh, if I have an extra spot, which I don't. Wait, this is laser symbol. Oh, small laser doesn't take. Take energy, energy hardpoint doesn't. It takes sub support weapon hardpoint, hard right? Well, that was awkward. The way I was, I was thinking this could work out is uh, because small blazers are being used when uh, when you engage in uh, melee combat. So it's kind of nice since this seems to be mainly a melee. Let's let's be honest, it's mainly a melee melee mech. <laughs> uh, it actually has pretty awkward uh, weapon systems. You can only have three launchers. So well, you could have uh, more ballistic hardpoints, I suppose. Yeah, that's true. Maybe we could have a machine gun. This takes uh, half a ton as well. I 
antipersonal. Wait, what? Slots uh, one. Antipersonal slots. Antipersonal hard point. I guess it uh, means super weapon. Yeah, small laser machine gun and flamer. Okay, well, that uh, solves that problem. We don't actually need to use it then. What do we do with the half ton then? This takes uh, one slot. So we could replace the SRM2 with SRM4 actually, but. Uh, Trying to see. It takes two tons. Wow, that took me <laughs> forever to. So, if we could uh, get uh, five more tons uh, space, we could actually put uh, SRM4 there. Or uh, 0 0.5 more tons. I could uh, reduce some armor. Maybe I have uh, actually way too much armor in the back. Huh? Now that I think about it. I mean, let's be honest, we shouldn't be... Melee mechs probably get shot in the back more than often than others, uh, but uh, still... That shouldn't be a thing. Okay, we went way overboard with the armor. Maybe I should just get rid of the jump jets. Wait, we cannot have even armor. That's gonna trigger me. We can if we use some other place. Why is it okay? Whatever. If that works, I'm not gonna touch it again. I'm not sure if we made it better. We have a slightly bigger missile launcher, slightly smaller laser. This is mainly because of the brawling action. But we'll see how it goes out. Four days, that's fine. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Okay. We can start uh We're gonna check out the blackjack as well when it comes out. The problem with the blackjack is definitely the heat. But uh Hey Commander, be with you in a second. Some of the missions we've been have a kind of the ambient temperature is high, and there's some other reasons why the heat isn't like uh, the moon was uh, just because of the map. The heat was insane just because of the map. So maybe I shouldn't touch it too much. Right, it had the four medium lasers and uh, AC2s. It has yeah, AC2s are long range and the lasers are medium range so I kind of like it let's uh, let's uh, keep it as it is okay financial reports and then spider center I think I will check out center and uh, vindicator as well okay, we, we reach the jump ship Oh, what is this? Medical expenses. Uh, expenses. Uh, in the morning briefing, Darius pulls up an inventory spreadsheet on the Leopard's uh, view screen. We're running a little low on medical supplies, many patches, drum bags, and few other things. It isn't critical yet, but I feel better when we're well stocked. Sumar fronts. Why do we keep patching our supplies in drips and drabs? Can't we get some kind of bulk discount and uh, get ahead of this problem? Could, uh, Gods know we'll end up using them, and maybe the doctors can s speed up our recovery times for a while. Uh, special discounts? Uh, I mean, uh, 25,000 is not... It's not nothing. 
So let's buy the special boost. Plus two medical point boosts for 30 days. Okay. Got a new financial report for you, Commander. As you see, we have 1.5 million, so it should be fine. We're still gonna keep the normal. I do. I really need the morale, though. I guess it wouldn't hurt. I don't know. It would be better if, uh, since everything costs more, like uh, operating the max, the max would somehow gain a boost as well. Although the moral effect is uh, kind of, kind of a boost, I suppose. Let's still stick to the normal. For now, just for now. Okay, I think it was four jumps, so we are gonna probably be using a lot of jump ships. I like this idea though. It makes sense. Okay, let's uh, let's pause. The spider will be ready in four days. Okay, let's go. I just don't want to miss that. I guess we could have stopped in ease of the systems as well, uh, just to check out the market and stuff like that. Yeah, that could have made sense. I mean, we can still do it, kinda. Ooh, there would have been better BBCs here. We can't buy them because uh, we're in transit. Oh, this would have been nice, isn't it? I don't think, uh, I'm not sure if we can cancel the jumps, so let's just uh, finish up the jumps. Or actually, I'm gonna check the... Check the... Spider. Did we already refit? Oh, we already refitted. Right, okay. This was the damage mech from previous mission. Another jump. Is this the last system? Because if it's, I should probably check out the market. Then again, uh, we need to be in the system anyway before we can buy anything. Okay, Centurion is now ready as well. This was a very nice mech to get, uh, 50 tonner. Yeah, maybe I've uh, gone a little bit overboard with the armor here as well, because I have maximum back armor as well. We could definitely do something more with that. Maybe max the hand armor, or maybe not because it's uh, it will lead to uneven armor amounts, or maybe. In Man, this armor works so weirdly. I don't know what what gives. Now I somehow magically have more armor than before. Oh right, because I removed from the center door, so, so I'm just derping. So I kind of need to remove enough armor for it to be meaningful number, like uh, half a ton is. What can we actually get with the half a ton? Nothing too great, I assume. We could get a small laser. How could uh, this is a decent melee tank uh, or uh, mech? Not, <laughs> not a tank. Uh, or 
hard points are kind of maxed out except for the missiles. But SRM-6 is kind of the biggest uh, launcher. I guess we could uh, spread it up with a couple SRM-2s. Meaning uh, we would, instead of SRM-6, we would have three SRM-2s. Uh, so we could kind of shoot uh, differently, in a different way. How much is this? This is one ton and this is uh, three tons, so yeah, it, it, we couldn't fit. Maybe the small laser makes sense. We, we, bon we are born to... Brawl, or we could get extra jump set. Jump set. Oh, we already have max amount. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. Yeah, let's take the small laser. For brawling action, I suppose. I don't know if that actually makes any sense reducing armor for small laser. <laughs> That's actually. Well, we'll see how it works out. Logged and noted. But uh, you really shouldn't too shouldn't need too much uh, armor in the back. Okay, let's continue. The indicator will be out in a couple days. Damn, we do took a lot of damage. You're right, I will try, Commander. Not yet. Ah, oh, we have still a couple mechs out. So they have a better ACs. I'm looking for those plus some symbols. What the hell is uh, leg mod? Uh, leg mod Epsilon. Plus 5 DFA damage. Actuators control Amex limbs, limbs and are used to perform melee attacks at close quarters. All Amex can equip with stock actuators which can be upgraded for improved performance. So for the death from above we could uh, get more damage. That's kind of interesting thought. So they don't actually have any mechs but they do have a better AC than Which I immediately wanna buy. We don't have actually AC tens at all yet. Better AC two on. They would actually have AC twenty. Better one. Uh, which is kind of interesting. Now I'm fairly certain that the that the Centurion we have it cannot uh, actually use uh, AC twenty. So do I wanna? Buy stuff for half a million just to be in stock. Oh, this adds stability damage, huh? This adds a straw damage plus 10. Oh, that's interesting. I guess the different manufacturers add different bonus as well, and uh, the size of the bonus is depends on the blast symbol. Uh, I feel like this is pretty solid. We probably can't uh, put this uh, AC-20 on any of the mechs yet. But uh, it's gonna be beast when we get a mech. What are these readings? Stonage and... Uh, location slots, right? Yeah. New weapon systems available. How long is this gonna be under work just for those slight upgrades? 16 days, that was uh, <clears throat> well. I don't know. Stupid would be the word to use here. I could uh, switch up the AC2, buy the better AC2 for one of, and switch it up for one of these standard models here. Sniper auto can, I guess. Yeah, let's let's buy those better ACs. We we have the money, right? New weapon systems available. The rest of them are just stock, so we are not gonna use. I'm kind of interested on the leg mod, since this doesn't seem to add anything to the mech. 
this is just a upgrade. I don't know if they will actually. I guess they will uh, wait more. Huh. It's kind of cheap, so I wanna see how it works. It's uh, it's something new. Let's buy. Let's buy the only one. New equipment available. That was actually a lot of a lot of money we just used. So let's see if we would uh, refit the the leg mod here. It does add the one ton. Okay. Well, maybe I will not do it then. Let's discard everything. Because I was idiot, I guess I now have to wait for 16 days to get uh, all my mechs back. This is definitely the hardest mission we've had so far, so I mean... I do want a full squad. And I've got the financial report. Okay. Current funds... Made more money. We're actually losing more money. <laughs> right. I guess I can then go with the... Uh, with the... With, uh, if I take a light maker, I, I can have full squad here. Yeah. So we would leave the Centurion behind, but uh, maybe maybe that's good. That's uh, This uh, guy should be good enough. So let's actually go do the mission. Oh damn, I'm so freaking tired. First strike in orbit, Veltri. Uh, Veltri, one of the most notorious hellholes in Oregon Reach. Everything about this place is hostile to human life, and for the past three years Espinosa has used it as dumping ground for his political enemies. The director has a prison complex on the planet's surface. The inmates call it the Icebox. The image of one structure appears on your view screen. This it has the solid heavy walls that you've come to associate with Taurian architecture. The Taurian Concordant is one of the largest periphery states located inward of Terra. Beyond Federated Suns, uh, founded and ruled by House Calderon. I'm not gonna read that, it was way too long. Uh, it's a holding facility for political prisoners and including high value hostages. Uh, members of the founding family expose sons and daughters. If you liberate the prison and set them free, we break Espinosa's leverage over the founding houses. The political map will change overnight. Uh, we don't uh, know what the director has been doing to our people in there, but we have to set them free. Not just for political gain, but because they are our people. And we need your help to do it. Hmm. I need to know what I'm uh, about to send my lands into. What makes Veltri so inhospitable? Everything from the sub-zero climate to inable, inedible ve vegetation. The whole planet is invested with plot sucking insects. The swarms can stretch for miles. You're shitting me. I'm afraid not. They're called Branson's mosquitoes. Imagine a colonial biting uh, uh, fly the size of your thumb. They serve as carriers of harmful bacteria. And you're dropping infrastructure on purpose. Thermal will be safe. All essence centers like the icebox use ultrasonics to keep the swarms at bay. But I thank you for your concern, Mr. Wirtanen. God damn it. Aren't the founding laws and ladies supposed to be powerless figureheads? There are different kinds of power. Metral, the founding houses may be anemic in terms of martial strength, but their words still carry weight in the Oregon reach. If they rally behind us, the people who love them will follow. Governments have been toppled with less. And you got an army, what do you need us for? Subtle decisive action. I will lead the army in, all or in an all-out assault on the Directorate's primary spaceport. After I've drawn their attention, you will sneak in, attack the icebox and liberate it. We'll set my uncle's hostage free and put the founding families in our debt all in one fell swoop. Understood. My lance is ready to drop. I'll remain in radio contact with you after we hit the ground. Good hunting, Metrol. Give uh, my uncle's troop hell 
uh, that they've been they have earned after the directors presence on on the planet has been crushed and the icebox has been liberated we will regroup to celebrate our victory okay this is certainly interesting so yeah I'm gonna take my blackjack because uh, some things don't change. Mm, we actually have a choice of pilots as well. I guess I would rather take uh, Medusa, not the locust, but um, uh, the spider. Behemoth, uh, you take your Shadowhawk, and Vindicator is for glitch. I guess uh, we have a pretty nice. Uh, uh, initiative since everyone is in medium or light mech, so that's how it works. Um, yeah, the difficulty kind of dropped somewhere. Tundra means it's gonna be very cold, which is good. I guess I could kind of add just my mechs because I know that it's gonna be cold and maybe add more weapons, remove some heat things, but. Uh, that would extend our time uh, refitting the ships so, or uh, the mechs and we would lose more money over time so I don't feel like doing that. Uh, when Hi Hi Lady Keona Arano founded the Oregon Coalition in 2910, something happened. Systems with no permanent population won't have items for sale but they will have contracts available. Oh, that's interesting. I guess there are uninhabited uh, system as well. Okay. Are we there yet? Game. Find your way to the icebox prison. 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 <laughs> prison camp. Destroy all directorate forces. Uh, liberate the icebox from uh, directorate control. Uh, that is, this is it, our first against Angle's Directorate. Our first step to f toward justice. While I lead the Restoration Army against Veltry's primary spaceport, you will launch sneak attack. I know you can do this. We can do this together. Hard to believe we are going to war against the Directorate. I don't know about you, but from my perspective, it's long overdue. Make them pay for what they took from us. Make it hurt. Yeah, I guess we will. The RS Convention's uh, banned nuclear weapons, that's interesting. In 2400 and something. Long range weapons such as PPCs and LRMs suffer an aiming penalty. Yep. When sort of short initiated. There are two entrances in the complex, Commander. In the sense that each is defended by a series of elevated turrets. I'm also seeing LRM and emplacement between two checkpoints. Battle mech defenses should be practically nil. As predicted, Lady Arano's preemptive strike has already drawn the prison st standard garrison away. I'm seeing heavy vehicles and turrets on my screen, nothing that you can't handle. Clear away the opposition and capture the prison. Lady Arano and Restoration Army will take care of the rest. Good hunting, Commander. Okay. So these are the turret gen generators. There are plenty of them more. It's kind of nice that they put them outside of the facilities. Yeah. We don't actually see the turrets themselves. Okay. What do you need? Um, I can work with this. Roger. I think we're gonna just jump it. On my honest. way. It will uh, stay behind. Mainly because she doesn't have jump jets. But I think the rest of us will just jump up here and deal with these generators. Commander. Roger. attack if I'm gonna attack. I do have 100 hit points so it's gonna take a few Attacking shots. From position. 
And we missed from a building, come on. I guess it would be nice to have jumpsets on the Vindicator as well. So 75 uh, damage, we need to... Uh, need to save some... Uh, I could uh, split here. Because it's a building, I think, uh, I trust that we will hit it. So three lasers should be 75 damage and one for the auto generator there. Engaging multiple targets. That one hit. Target building destroyed. Okay. Something very weird was going on with the <laughs> anime messenger. Good to go. Off. I'm not gonna finish off the last uh, generator, I think. I need to use the long range missiles here. Just in case, I'm gonna actually take it out because I don't know if the turret will pop up. Brought it down, Commander. All oh, right, those zones are the exploding turrets, right? Waiting on you, Commander. And I guess you have to go vault in Got the ground. Sivurup is actually so good with the sniping position up there with the with the PPC and whatnot. She actually what get can I up, do for you? up there? Probably not. Orders. Firing jump chance. Guess we will take out the rest of the troops. This is the well. warden. Oh. We have an intruder alert. All combat units, prepare to repel hostile. Thing I can do is brace too. Engaging jump jets. I guess we found everyone here, or alerted everyone. There are a few threats and I guess I will jump everyone. Okay, what Standing the hell by. was that? Up high. I guess they're quite far away. You betcha. So I can freely just uh, sprint here. Mech warriors, show them what you've got. Yes, Commander. Feeling like taking out the turrets is uh, gonna be a primary here. On it. These look like vehicles, you know. Yeah. Those push on gates on either side are gonna be our best point of entry into the complex, okay? Throw them down or m and make your own way inside, or jump the walls if your lance is capable of it. Your call. Taking the shot. Mm, maybe some FPS issues too. The game seems to be running fairly poorly. So if I want to 
get into the bush, I need to jump again. Of course I do. Engaging jump jets. I think I can laser anything here. Engaging target. Target building destroyed. Okay, so I guess each tur turret has their own generator, so it would be pretty much the same to just take out the turrets. But I guess they will take more damage than uh, these guys. Maybe I should have checked what turrets oh, there. They don't like me at all. Good to go. Can't get any di direct fire going on here. On my way. Should do 40 damage, I suppose, yeah. Tell me what to shoot. Except we missed some of the missiles. Yes, Commander. Copy that. Hmm. We are gonna get fired upon quite heavily here. Actually, do some kind of multi targeting trickery here. No, nah, okay. Just take out the Locking generator. Just not quite enough time. Oh man, these bulldogs, they were the. Nasty ones, right? They really have a hard on on the uh, spider. Crap. That shot went internal. Damn. Yeah, those large lasers, they do a shitload of damage. Maybe it was a bad idea to go to those generators. Because I think we could have kinda My internals are taking a beating. killed everything here and then killed the Wow. The spider might actually be going down. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Yeah. I guess there's our laser through it. Internal damage. Yes, Commander. I can go and uh, kill this uh, scorpion. <sighs> Fuck me. I guess I should uh, do that uh, just to reduce uh, some incoming damage. Can't really hide anymore. Vehicle trashed. Trashed indeed. The good news, it uh, seems like that vehicle was uh, one of the uh, ones who were what in it uh, three slots. So, waiting for orders. I just kind of want to get in there, but uh, we need to take care of uh, so many things here. Heading out. Hopefully the shadow hack might uh, soak up some of the meat. So how much does this have? It's like uh, 7 hit points. I could 
toast that uh, for uh, God damn Matt <laughs> four times eight uh, that's thirty two right and uh, twenty so that's fifty damage we can almost uh, kill uh, one outright. I feel like these are gonna be priority still. So let's say let's do Target acquired. Of course the missiles uh, still miss. Should probably stick to the forest, but uh, I need to I need to get to the medium range. Medium laser range. Engaging jump jets. Because those lasers are my uh, real damage here. Okay, so now we do the multi targeting thing. I'm not gonna kill three of them, but um, the A has like seven hit points. Hit points, so whatever hits it uh, is enough to kill it. The B has 19 hit points, so again, if I hit it, it's enough to kill it. So maybe I will do... I'm resistant to see. So that way there's uh, two guns for both of the generators and... Uh, we're not gonna kill the third one anyway, so might as well. Engaging multiple targets. So we're gonna get rid of uh, two of the weapons. Threats for guaranteed. Then we can kill the last one next turn. I hear ya. Mm, okay, we might be able to do something here with the PPC as well. Yeah. Coordinates received. These guys will get to shoot uh, Vindicator or Glitch, but uh, that's better than shooting at the flight type one. PPC should be enough to kill that, huh? Do I trust the PPC? Oh yeah. Got it. Okay, that was the important hit. That didn't actually do that much. And uh, they don't care about the indicator, do they? Oh, they do. Okay. For the damage, that laser is so insane. I want large lasers. You guys should get some. Mm, this is gonna be very nasty. At least the laser missed. Just right. That's not cool. wounded. Uh, aye, aye. Okay. Roger. Let's see if you can destroy this one as well. Locked on for physical attack. Nope. Quite enough. Here is slightly nasty because we are leaving our backs open. Back open here. But I need to kill that uh, freaking tank. The bulldog uh, is open on the other side. That's not really helping me. I'm just gonna go all in on it. That's so nasty. 
That's all nasty damage. Okay. Enemy unit destroyed. Good to go. This can probably go on. Melee that car. Orders. Try to kill that other bulldog with a uh, behemoth. Ah, because those damn things do a lot of damage. Not good enough. Commander? What I was hoping that I could do here is a. Uh, okay, this side of it. It seems to be kind of open. I was hoping I could go and melee this uh, scorpion actually. But I guess I will just go for the bulldog. Sure, fire everything. All weapons are go. The rest of them don't do that much damage. That's a vehicle so. kill. The poor spider. I need to be more careful with my light mix. Yeah, he's gonna get toasted. I'm gonna go get that back shot. Funnily enough, he still has over half of his armor left, though. Receiving you. Let's see if I can just suit it. Moving out. Maybe meleeing it would have been more guaranteed. <laughs> sort of my lead. He missed anyway. Oh shit, we're actually very overheated here. And he's gone. Enemy unit destroyed. I think I will just smash the last guy with the with the Vindicator. Waiting for orders. I mean it's pretty much the same to just take the shot with BBC. Except we cannot see him, so yeah, let's just smash it. Really thought about which side we will go in. I'm not sure if there's a much, much of a difference. I guess it's Moving all out. free move now as well. On my way. The heat seems to be very, very. Uh, uh, or a lot better, even if it, the bonus is only about 10%. It's still a very much better. Mm. Good to go. I was hoping I could melee at these things. But um, I guess I have to. Just use the good old Moving BBC. Just get a little bit more range here. Right, Commander. I missed it. I missed the damn door. Door. What's up, boss? I copy. I'm actually using sprinting here, so that's not good either. Acknowledged. Firing. 
I would jump over them, but one of our guys don't actually have jump sets, so... The Black Sox uh, does uh, definitely is, uh, still a heat a lot. Engaging target. Target building destroyed. And we are true. Let's put the shadow hack on the lead because that lady got all the armor. Game is uh, trying to crash. Excellent work, Commander. The prison is ours. Uh, I'll direct the personnel to action station. God damn it, this is not a drill. Looks like you got more company. I'm seeing heat signatures coming online in the prison mech bay. The warden must have held a lance in reserve. Sit tight, oh, Commander. Lady Arano is aware of the situation. Reinforcements are on the way. Christ. Affirmative. That actually looks like a decent amount of mix. If those are all mix, this might get very hairy. Oh yeah, and they're light mix as well. Wow! I need to get the spider hella hella out of there. Come out of this way as well. Just a uh, jump. Uh, I was thinking about jumping out from here, but apparently I'm not close enough for that. Mm, doesn't look like they have much armor though. So maybe if I kind of move behind uh, this corner so his friends cannot shoot at me, maybe? On my way. Twenty-five percent hit chance. Yeah. I'm actually just thinking maybe I should just uh, embrace here, but let's say uh, let's All see. weapons are go. Zero hits. I guess all the evasion no made made so so that much harder. Oh, they have missiles as well. I'm afraid for my spider pilot. I need to erase this. Erase this guy as fast as possible. So he cannot scold for the long range missile. Next. Give him hell. Commencing alpha strike! At least he took a lot of damage. Ah. I need to get the spider out of there. At least he's driving all the fire. So I mean, I guess that's uh, that's something. Waiting for orders. It's something, but not what I would. Uh, Moving to position. I'm just gonna charge in with the shadow hack. Hopefully he will be a new priority target for them. This from uh, alarms doesn't make much sense from this range. Affirmative. Okay. He's unsteady, but that's uh, really not helping. I guess I can only shoot at the ACs from this range. Took out shots, however. I think that's the thing. Or precision shot, I mean. I 
it has one one hit point on structure. So if we hit, uh, that's pretty much it. Engaging target. Fight harder, damn you! We can't let this prison fall. I should have probably called her so earlier. Oh, that's a medium mech. Is that a Jagger mech or what? What was it? Not much armor left in that location. Oh, it's a yeah, it's a Jagger mech. The last mech could be even bigger because we haven't seen it him yet. I think I, I just need to get uh, get Spider out of there Copy for now. Because I don't, I don't want to lose lose him. Okay, who is the last guy? Oh, it's a Centurion. Okay, no, no, sixty damage. That's an easy ten, right? Reporting major armor loss. Our Shadowhawk is now taking a beating. And yeah, there's no any kind of cover here. I kind of feel like we should go for the Centurion. So it has the sealed arm on this direction, so I definitely should try to kind of angle so... We get to shoot at the non-shield uh, hand, if uh, possible. Because the cult shots don't uh, really do much here right now, so let's just uh, give him uh, everything we got. All weapons committed. And we spent all of that on on the shield arm. From the looks of it. This was, uh, I think that uh, that is some kind of light mech. Good to go. Yeah, we did uh, some good damage on the shoulder, so maybe we will. Couch up there. Firing everything I've got. Oh yeah. So that arm is gone, but uh, of course it's just the user's arm. The big gun is in the other arm. Orders. I think I'm gonna be preparing for the melee attack next turn. On my way. Oh, you are quite uh, shaken though. We have a decent shot odds, uh, maybe even a split fire here. Yeah, that makes a little more sense. Multiple targets confirmed. Okay, he's at least unsteady. The Jager mech is kind of scary as well. Shadowhawk is, uh, has lost, uh, lo like, or Shadowhawk has lost like half of the armor. For the Aurigan people. Oh, she's coming in with mechs. Nice. And now we have to worry about her dying as well. You know what? Use just reserve for now. Reserving action. Kintaro. That's nice. She's doing very good job at removing it her uh, evasion. Oh, that was a trebuchet. Uh, I think that's a mostly long range missile mech, and yeah. Well, uh, I mean, I guess. That got through my armor, Commander. 
I guess it looks like he's using a short range missile instead. Waiting for orders. You are shaking, right? If I uh, no, it has two alarm of 50s. I'm not sure if I should concentrate fire on one of them, try to kill, take them out, or go for the go for the money shot on the, or uh, try to get all of them shaking. I guess this uh, center is is almost done, so I might as well precision shot on the on this center also. It still has 250. 50, so we probably cannot kill it. Or we can, okay. Enemy mech destroyed. At least we don't have to worry about his huge damage. Good to go. This could uh, remove unsteady. We haven't, are, are not unsteady yet, so we are just uh, getting there. So I feel like I should uh, just uh, go for the Jager Mac. Affirmative. Good to go. Could go melee it. I think I will actually. Maybe I should melee the other guy. Can I? No, I'm not in range. Maybe even from here. On my way. <laughs> yeah, and the small laser. Oh, we got his leg. I think. Well, that was actually pretty useful. To go. useful. So I'm fairly certain that Trebuchet already moved this turn, so we can just uh, jump in and start working on the Fallen Mech, I suppose, since we cannot shoot Firing the Trebuchet. Jump, yeah. yeah, let's just go for the center, center torso. Confirmed. Gotta be close to time. Uh oh. Yeah, that's not cool. Angle on me. Oh, luckily he only had one, uh, two weapons. I mean, ready. I don't know if he destroyed this. I forgot that when he got uh, knocked down, he actually lost his turn, and so he kind of had uh, extra turn on me. Or, uh, not extra turn, but uh, he had a... Uh, I'm here. Uh, he loses the stability, so uh, or are they shaken status, and gets to shoot at me. So he's actually out of sight. I could also go to strike him. I think we are kind of all in here, we just uh, go for the kill shots. I'm not gonna try to save my max. Couch shot on that, uh, or precision strike on that central torso though. Guess we missed. That guy's tough. He only needs the one small hit on the center torso, but he's not getting it. Chibuse is kind of reversing off. 
This is the exact reason I kind of wanted to turn, turn this side of the shadow hawk towards him because... Uh, oh, he was trying for the spider as well. Because uh, of the full health arm on this side. He went for everyone. What a madman. Commander? I like being on water because that uh, helps us cool down even more. We're definitely gonna go for this guy. Got it. Strike direct hit into the chest. I think I should. Uh, I can shoot both AC for the kind of back and lasers for this guy. Time to die. Engaging Please. multiple targets. Okay, he's dead. That is done. Yeah, these mechs are starting to get big. Yes, Commander. And we are just gonna go hit it. Very hard. Yep. Moving to position. on for physical attacks <laughs> we got the leg so it's uh, nice to get that knockdown especially after they have already used their turn so you need you're gonna get a free turn to shoot at him Let's uh, try to kill him before he gets up. Got shots on the torso for sure. Firing all weapons. Not quite enough. Maybe he finally gets a kill. Yep. Nice. That was tough. I love it. This person is ours. Thanks for the assist, Lady Arano. I'll have Sumira bring us down for the victory celebration. There will be no celebrating, not after what I saw out there. Gods, there is the things the Directorate has done to these people. Come here, I need you to meet me in the prison hospital right now. What is it? Better that you see it for yourself. And come here, prepare yourself. This isn't going to be easy. Mission successful. I wonder who is it. I bet there's somebody wounded. Maybe it's her cousin, who knows? Or Mastiff? That would be. It has been, what, five years since the coup? So, that's a long, long time. Excellent work, Commander. I was right to put my faith in you. You, uh, you are a critical part of the restoration effort. Yeah, we got some raiding, we got some penalty. We got some money, or Max got beat up. Holy shit. Well, the blackjack, <laughs> I guess the blackjack was so slow that it was always gonna be behind. But uh, it actually got a very. or most of the kills, huh? Holy shit, all the mech kills, huh? I'll take that. Mm -hmm. I like the Jaeger mech. Maybe I should... Uh, I want the... I want the trebuchet bot and I want to finish off this channel. Go for the... Go for the last guy. Or the last mech part. Sure. Mechs are worth more than anything else in this game, so... Might as well. You get uh, stuff like ammo, jump sets, uh, sure. Nice. That, very nice. Uh, 
A mech warrior's piloting skill, so the piloting skill is about, uh, gives them more stability or uh, they can sustain more st stability damage. So it might be useful to get some piloting skills on uh, all of them. <laughs> Withdrawing from a contract is a smart option if it looks like the payout won't be worth the repair bills. I guess, I guess that makes sense. By the time our forces found him, it was too late. I'm sorry, Kamea. He was... here. All this time. Rashu. Restoration, the icebox, Veltry. Come here, I'm so sorry. I know how much Mastiff meant to you. He was a friend and a mentor to us both. He was more than that. The old man was like a second father to me, and my uncle under uh, condemned him to waste away on this rock, to die wretched and broken in agony. He represented this Lady Victoria, she told him she'd make him suffer. That's true. There's no coming back from what uh, I've witnessed here today. The scale of the director's cruelty in is unimagin unimaginable. What they've done here is monstrous, it's inhuman. Our intel was wrong, Alexander, the icebox wasn't a prison, it was meat grinder. Gods, my own family is behind this. And what's left of mine has chosen to look the other way. It isn't as easy thing to wrap your head around, but to try to remain focused. We've just liberated the director's hostages. With a single blow, you shattered your uncle's hold on founding houses. The prisoners you've set free are already calling you the Sword of Restoration. We need to spread this message all the way to Coromodir to galvanize your supporters and weaken the Espinosa's popularity there. Calmonize your supporters. I like the sound of that. It won't be an easy process. Uh, for the last three years, those who loved Hose Arano have, a, have been keeping their heads down. We won't break them uh, of that overnight. In truth, an appreciable percentage of Cormody's population supports director Espinosa. In centralizing power, he improved the quality of life uh, on the throne world considerably, and people will forgive a great deal for security and comfort. With our victory on Veltry, we've uh, all seen what happened to those who would not be bought or indoctrinated. Those who refused to kneel before a tyrant. We know that become, uh, what became of uh, the people who were made to disappear, and soon enough the entire reach will know it too. The momentum is in, in our side, come here. We need to take advantage of it. You're right, this is the time for hand wringing. But Alexander, you didn't see what I saw out there. On the other end of the battlefield, the war crews, the all hunched and broken. The graveyards, great fields of unmarked burial plots that stretch as far as the eye could see. Every time I blink I see it, the misery that, uh, that was allowed to fester here. Yeah, it's certainly not uh, not happy. Uh, background, frontier free freelancer. I can pick through it well enough. I saw my share of human misery when I was free freelancing on the frontier. I'm sure you did, but that was the lawless frontier. Before my uncle's coup, Veltry was a part of the Oregon coalition. We were better than this. This place is going to stay with these people for the rest of their lives. I'd do anything to be able to spare them that hurt, but I can't. 
Word of advice from an old veteran lady. I don't know. Focus on something you can do. Give us an order. Tell us to blow something up. Shit. Use your imagination. The key is you do something and you move on. Thank you, Chief Virtanin. You have a good crew, Mutrel. I have a new assignment for you and a reward for your service. The Arca appears in your view screen. She's in a roach, roach shape, but she appears to be space ready. For the case, the wreck side of the Argo was one of my father's most close to, uh, closely held secrets. When I sent you to retrieve her, I meant her for, to serve a symbolic purpose. A sign of rebirth and renewal, emblazoned Embla with the Arana Cormorant, of, Cormorant for all to see. I was naive. This is uh, a time for action, not symbols, and so Mitral, I have decided that she will be yours to command. The Argo will serve you as your new home and she will fly your mercenary banner. Lord Madeira will join you to act as my liaison. In, and in return you will grow stronger, sharper, more flexible, you will hone your company to a razor's edge. One that I will hold to directorate's throat. In that case, congratulations, you got yourself a navy. If that's settled, then please, come here. Go back to the triad stand and get those wounds looked at. The conditions here are beyond unsanitary, and you'll be of no use to anyone if you're dying of tentatus. Tetanus? Okay. Uh, our soldiers can tend to, uh, to the wounded. We need to use strong for the fight ahead. I will Alexander, but not just yet. Assemble our people in the courtyard. There's something that I need to say. People of the Oregon Reach, I am Kamea Arano. And I have failed you. For three long years, Director Espinosa has imprisoned and starved and murdered our people. And where was I? Hiding in a palace, light years away, building support, planning, while the directorate's secret police turned neighbor against neighbor, made your loved ones disappear, conscripted your children. I wasn't here. I didn't know. The crimes that I have witnessed here today are unforgivable. No doubt, Director Espinosa believes that the ends justify the means, that the Oregon Reach has been made strong. Well, I say that strength built on fear is brittle. The Directorate is a paper tiger, and I declare this restoration today to rally the true strength of our people, our resilience, and our freedom. Let Weldry be a call to arms. Join us. And together we will liberate the founding houses and retake Cormadir. Not because it is my birthright, but because the Directorate's crimes against you, the Oregon people, will no longer be tolerated. That is what I fight for. And I vow to fight for your freedoms to my dying breath. Wow. Shit just got real. And we have a new dropship, or a jump ship, or whatever ship. Achievement, why we fight? Have a ship, have a ship will travel. Okay, and we have Farad Murad here. Hello again, my mercenary friends. Before you officially take possession of the Argo, I wanted to introduce myself in person. We never really got a chance to meet properly on Axilus. So, uh, hi, I'm Dr. Farad Murad, or just Farad if you prefer. It's nice to meet you all face to face. Yeah, Doc. You do. I'm gonna call you Doc, by the way. You should probably go ahead and get used to it. It was impressive work you did, getting the Argo flying. Between you and me, I had my doubts. Honestly, I did too. You should have seen uh, what the Argo's interior looked like after a couple hundred, hundred years of pirate occupation. Actually, I take it back. If you'd seen what I saw, you would have never <laughs> wanted me to set foot inside. Take it from me, the ship has uh, been deluged uh, from both the stern, and every met me meter of her has been hosed down with industrial grade disinfectant. This ship is clean enough to eat of, of it. Uh, eat of of, I swear it. Okay. 
Thanks for it. I'm sure that we all appreciate it. I'm pleased to hear it and I'm glad we're uh, getting off on the right foot. It isn't every day that you get to introduce your new crewmates to the ship you just rebuilt. Huh. Hear that, Jang? We're finally getting a shipboard engineer. Uh, that's good, because I don't have a clue of how about anything, <laughs> anything on this boat works. Frankly, I'm amazed that Takamura managed to get her flying at all. Honestly, I'm too, only a little, because I'm very good at what I do, but it was kinda touch and go there for a while. Oh, and Darius, I'm sure about all the shouting back on Axilus. Or, I'm sorry about all the shouting back on Axilus. As it turns out, getting shot at by pirates puts me on edge. No hard feelings. None at all. Keep this beast flying and you can call me whatever. Uh, yell at me as much as you want. Hell, I'm used to it. Welcome to the family. You too, Lord Madeira. I never imagined we'd be working together, but I'm glad to have the opportunity. As am I, Mr. Oliveira. Over the years of our exile, Lady, Lady Arana told me a great deal about you and your company. All of it good. Even before the events of the coup, she knew about Markham's marauders. Her assistance in her father's uh, Fjaldr campaign did not go unnoticed. It was, job, uh, it was a job, Lord Madeira. We only did what High Lord Tamati paid us to do. Still, it feels good to be appreciated and to know that somebody out there still remembers Commander Markham's name. Okay. You'll, you'll be a welcome addition about the Argo, Lord Madeira. Thank you, Commander Goslovsky. Speaking of which, you'll have some time to break your new ship in before Lady Arano is ready to move on a Panzer. She needs to consolidate our forces on Veltry and uh, replace our losses with fresh volunteers. You remember her orders. You are to sharpen your company and grow strong. And now that you have a, a mobile command center worthy of the title, I suggest that you use it. I'll get uh, you a fresh batch of contracts to look over Leon. The whole remote periphery is or or o oyster now. <laughs> oyster now. Uh, we won't be limited uh, by depths or travel restrictions. Exciting times, I've got to say. Or is in Lona. Exciting doesn't begin to describe it. I try to get enough uh, fist fight with an Atlas and let us get trapped like that again. I'm right there with you, boss. It's gonna feel damn good to be spread uh, to spread our wings. Uh, speaking of which, shouldn't we go aboard our new ship? There's an absolutely enormous mech bay in there, and <laughs> it's got my name written all over it. Damn right it does, young. You all heard him. Take your stations, everyone. We are free agents under the Lady Arana calls for us, and uh, there's money to be made. The Argo is uh, not in good shape, Commander. But with time, money, and some of the Siege Firtan's technical resources, we can address most of the major problems. Maybe even make this place nice again. I'll be in engineering if you want to know more. Lady Arano said uh, she wanted us to get stronger. With these mech facilities, we finally have uh, the resources to do that. Bring me scrapped mechs from missions and ships, and I'll rebuild them into fighting machines. And remember, boss, when it comes to mechs, bigger is usually better. Yeah, that's true. That mech you asked for is cleared for fighting. Uh, Genergy is run hot and... Uh, oh, uh, mech chassis is completed. Genergy JR-70. Uh, Genergy is run hot and they run fast but can quickly bond into combat by to deliver a knockout punch. Even against heavier units. Their capability with speed and weaponry tends to come at expense of lower armor capacity though. Yeah, that's true. Um, I feel like I, as much as I love locusts, I think I will. Let's send it to storage for now. Okay, we still require upgrade to get uh, more next online. And there's a whole shitload of stuff to do. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's a long episode already, so... Okay, 
Okay, that was uh, <laughs> nice. And uh, yeah, I will end the episode here and see you guys on the next one. See you there. Bye.